Do you have a rendered video that you want to detect cuts for? I'll tell you how to do it in Premiere Pro and I will compare it to DaVinci Resolve, which had this feature for years. As of August 2020, it's only available in the beta version of Premiere Pro, which you can download from the Creative Cloud app. I've always used DaVinci to automatically detect cuts for a rendered video. But Premiere Pro introduces that feature as well, so the question is, how does it compare to Resolve? For testing purposes, we'll be using a short film Guest of Honor written and directed by Justin Robinson. I'll be making a video about the editing of that short, so subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss it. Again, for a disclosure, I am using the beta build to test this feature, so once it's released, it may work a little bit differently. Scene edit detection in Premiere Pro will use Adobe Sensei technology. Resolve uses a histogram-based approach. Because of that, Premiere Pro's version will be that simple to use, but it will not be as customizable as in Resolve, where we can review the cuts before adding them to the timeline, or we can even adjust a confidence level. To be honest, I'm all for customization, so not having it in Premiere Pro feels pretty weird. But on the other hand, it may be faster to get decent results without the need to tweak any parameters. What I like about Adobe's take on that feature is that you can run it for any clip on the timeline. In Resolve, you can only access scene cut detection while importing a file to a project. To run scene edit detection in Premiere, we just need to right-click on a clip in a timeline and choose that option from the context menu. Settings are very straightforward. We can add cuts or markers at each edit point, and choose between three sensitivity settings. The short is 10 minutes long. It took 90 seconds to analyze it in Premiere and 28 seconds for the same Resolve. So yeah, for this video, Resolve is three times faster. But I also run a test for a four minutes long video, which both Resolve and Premiere Pro analyzed in approximately 25 seconds. Looks to me like a histogram-based approach is faster for long videos. But at the same time, I have to remember that as I record this video, this feature in Premiere Pro is still in development, so it may get a little bit faster. But to be honest, 90 seconds for a 10 minutes long clip is still a short time. It's a real life example with titles, a fade in at the beginning and even a whip pan, so I needed to review the cuts after the algorithm has done its duty. I adjusted the confidence level a bit and removed a few cuts in Resolve. Navigation in this panel is not difficult, but at the same time not as easy as navigating in the timeline in Premiere. Interestingly, I didn't have to remove any cuts in Premiere Pro, just added one cut for where the fade in starts. Overall, I thought that because Resolve's take on the feature is more customizable, I would like it better. But after using Premiere Pro's version, I have to say I'm not sure anymore. It makes scene cut detection extremely easy and you can run it anytime for any clip on the timeline. One thing that I like better about Resolve is that it adds detected clips as separate shots in the media pool. Thanks to it, we can get this great storyboard of a film immediately. It can be done in Premiere, as you can see, but you will have to do it on your own. Scene cut detection is helpful not only when you want to color grade separate shots, reframe them, etc., but also to learn about things like an average shot duration, a distribution of cuts on the timeline, and so on. For example, the Guest of Honor has 53 cuts and an average shot duration of 9.8 seconds. For comparison, Steven Spielberg, who is known to hold shots longer than other directors, has an average shot duration of 7 seconds. So yeah, overall I think scene cut detection is a great addition to Premiere Pro. Be sure to watch more of my tutorials and videos about the editing in general, we're all about streamlining the editing process here, until the next time, detect cuts like there is no tomorrow.